After defecting the Jedi Order and becoming Darth Tyrannus, Count Dooku of Sereno crafted a unique Sith lightsaber. The unusual curved shape of the hilt helped Dooku control the weapon, and it offered a greater finesse in combat when lunging and slashing at opponents. With a kyber crystal that produced a fierce red blade, the lightsaber struck fear into the hearts of Jedi all across the galaxy. But as it turned out, the weapon was not only dangerous, in Dooku's hands. Welcome to the Kangazan Star Wars Weapons Lore Episode 11, Count Dooku's Lightsaber. Before ATBBY, shortly after becoming a Jedi Master, Dooku deliberately crafted a lightsaber which had little connection to the standard weapon he held as a Jedi Knight. After studying records in the Jedi Archives, he grew a fascination with curved hilts, which peaked in popularity during the heyday of the Mikashi combat form. Dooku's hilt was made up of three sections. The first third contained an inclined focusing chamber and a series of thermal radiator grooves along the inside of the curve. The second held a hand grip and a concealed magnetic adhesion plate for secure hold to Dooku's belt. And the third section contained the activator and three power cells. The first, a compound power cell, was held in the bend of the hilt directly below the hand grip. The second, a phase A cell, was placed next to the activator. Lastly, the reserve power cell was contained in the weapon's pommel. Dooku's emitter shroud featured both an angular guard and a front trigger, which activated a dual phase setting, shortening the blade's length for a surprise close quarter attack. When the Jedi Master became a Sith Lord, he swapped out the lightsaber's blue Adigan crystal for a red synthetic crystal. At the expense of manoeuvrability, the modification upgraded the blade's cutting power. At the beginning of the Clone Wars, as Dooku attempted to flee Geonosis, he was met with Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi and his Padawan, Anakin Skywalker. The Sith Lord easily disposed of his foes, delivering light but damaging cuts across Kenobi's arm and leg before amputating the arm of his Padawan. Immediately after, Dooku was confronted by his former Jedi Master, Yoda. Although he was unable to bash Yoda with either the Force or his lightsaber, the Count managed to escape. Dooku continued to use his unique Sith lightsaber throughout the Clone Wars as the leader of the CIS, leading the conflict against the Galactic Republic. Despite operating under the hidden identity of Tyrannus, Dooku had no qualms about brandishing the weapon out in the open, as proven when, in front of Skywalker, he killed Gungan traitor Reich Lu and later Pike Syndicate leader Lom Pike. As a result, the Jedi realised Dooku and Tyrannus were one and the same. Eventually, Dooku devised a plan to overthrow his master, Darth Sidious, and become the Dark Lord of the Sith himself. Using both his knowledge of the Force and dueling skills, Dooku trained two Sith apprentices, Asajj Ventress and Savage Oppress. Unfortunately, both failed as Sith, and Dooku's plans were undone. Regardless, the Count trained General Grievous in lightsaber combat. As a result, the cyborg went on to kill numerous Jedi throughout the Clone Wars. Dooku's lightsaber briefly fell into the hands of Darth Maul, Hondo Naka, and, fatefully, Anakin Skywalker. In a final rematch with Kenobi and his former Padawan aboard the Invisible Hand, Skywalker used basic fighting moves and tactics to lure the Count into a false sense of confidence. So when Kenobi was rendered unconscious, Anakin caught Dooku completely off guard when he switched to an aggressive and advanced combat form. The Sith Lord was unable to keep up with such ferocity and soon found himself unarmed and without any hands. In front of Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, who was secretly Darth Sidious, Skywalker held both Dooku's lightsaber and his own at the neck of the Count. To his surprise, Palpatine ordered the Jedi to behead the leader of the CIS. Reluctantly, Anakin decapitated Dooku and abandoned the weapon. Dooku's lightsaber was destroyed alongside the rest of the Invisible Hand near the climax of the Battle of Coruscant. Now it's time for this week's question. Do you think we'll ever see another lightsaber with a curved hilt in the Star Wars movies? Let me know in the comments below. In the previous episode, I asked if you thought the Geonosian Sonic Blaster was the optimum weapon to use against Jedi, and I got a ton of responses, so thanks for that. While some people have their doubts, most of you do believe the weapon would ruin a Jedi's day. To have your say in future Star Wars weapons lore videos, head on over to thecarnkazans.com and get voting. Thanks for watching, and for more Star Wars related content, keep locked here. Although Star Wars has the ability to launch careers to the next level and transform unknowns into superstars, the sci-fi series can also indefinitely damage the credibility of its actors. Natalie Portman, unfortunately, is an example of the latter, which she has fully recognised. Star Wars had come out and everyone thought I was a horrible actress. I was in the biggest grossing movie of the decade and no director wanted to work with me. 